My name is John Farber. I have had, just had the privilege of editing Anna Komar's first collection of poetry in English, and it's been an extraordinary journey for me because I didn't know much Belarus and Persia, but from what my impression of Belarus, it's, it's very stuck in the past, and it's very, there are things that you can say and things that you can't say, and people, people don't address personal issues, they don't address issues that really matter to people. And I think one of the exciting things about Anna's poetry is that it breaks through those barriers. And I think the experience that she talked about getting being influenced by Bukowski is actually quite important because it kind of makes that, and that has allowed her to make the breakthrough from, her, from lyrical personal poetry to poetry that really matters. And I think it's been quite a brave move because I think she's exposed a lot of her own shortcomings in a very courageous way. And I think that will open the door to allow other poets to do the same and allow other women to, to experience the same because some of these subtitles are taboo. And it's, it's, it's really moving to hear them talk about it. And um, she doesn't just talk about it in a in a exposing way. She talks about it in a very thoughtful, philosophical, witty, funny way. And a lot of the poems make me laugh. They really do, and that's that's great because they're very witty. Um, and she also has a, an extraordinarily good way of using twists and turns in the language. And her rhythmic sense is very powerful. And it's one of the things that I was kind of careful to try and maintain in the, in, in the editing, because sometimes when it's not your native language, you don't get that. Um, but I hope we've got that back, because I think it's really important. I think as, as you hear more of her work in English, which I think you will do, because I think a lot of people will like her work, then she'll be, she'll be able to do that herself. And I hope also, she's, I, I think in Belarusian, she's a great reciter of her own poetry. And I hope that that's, we're going to hear more of that in English, because I think I'd love to hear from just her at the start of it over the last couple of days. And I think, actually, it taps into something that's happening in the UK, which is spoken word poetry. It's just beginning to come very important amongst young people. And I think it's very nice to hear that coming from Belarus, because it hasn't been that much of a movement there. And I think it taps into something here, and I think she will... Be, I hope she will be very much liked and do, do something equally powerful here as well. So thank you, Anna. This has been a wonderful experience. Thank you.